Hello everybody. Tonight I would like to bring you uh, the Wednesday night Bible study notes. Cain. Let's talk about Cain. Eve and Adam's first man child born to them. Cain was self-willed. He was a self-willed worshiper. Genesis chapter 4, verses 3 through 5. Abel gave an acceptable offering. Cain was basically saying that he was going to offer what he wanted and do what and how he wanted. Example, you go to church, but you don't get in there and praise and worship. You are attending, attending the church service but just in your way. Did you pay your tithing or did you just give an offering? God told Cain it wasn't good enough. Cain got mad. Are you living your life according to God's will or are you living self-living according to your own instructions? Is God rejecting your life? Is God not accepting how you are living? Misdirected anger. Genesis chapter 4 verses 5 through 6. God asked Cain, why are you angry? Cain was mad at Abel because he messed up. Are you mad at other people because you made the mistake? Misdirected anger at our spouses, our children, our co-workers, other believers, mad because God is opening up other doors in their lives. Have you taken the time to evaluate why you may be grumpy, short-tempered, and being mean? You mad at traffic? You even mad at the dog? Or are you really angry with yourself? Others have shifted and changed because of your choices simply because you haven't done what God wants you to do. Cain had a callous heart. Genesis 4 and 7. God basically told Cain that if he did what was well, he would be accepted. Cain was unable to repent or change. So sin was waiting at the door to pounce on him like a beast. All he had to do was admit that he was wrong, repent, and change. But Cain was callous. A callous heart is dangerous. Your heart must be tender. Your heart can be callous and you won't even recognize Jesus. You could come to church and won't even get anything out of it. You won't even understand when God is acting in your life or throwing you a lifeline. Bitter jealousies, 1 John chapter 3, verse 12. Cain slew his brother. Why? Because Cain was jealous of his brother's righteousness. Jealous over material goods and spiritual blessings. Jealousy in your heart. The older was jealous of the younger. He thought he deserved the rights to everything. I've been at the job longer. I've been in this position longer. Jealousy creeps in because you got passed over. A bitter heart that starts assassinating people's character with your tongue. Cain lacked faith, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 4. Abel acted in faith. Cain did not. God is a God of standards and righteousness. If you really know who God is, it would change the way you act, the way you worship, etc. God is deserving of your best. Let's not be on the path of Cain and end up in some God-forsaken places. Cain was banished to the wilderness. Let's avoid Cain's path. 
All right, everybody, that was the Wednesday night uh, Bible study notes. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, just a small note, um, we are still having our church online. And right now, our pastor is going over characters of the Bible um, that how they fell down and went into uh, negative situations. So tonight was about Cain. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm hoping that you maybe even listen to it twice and even uh, read the scriptures that came with it because we don't want to go down Cain's path of destruction. And I love the part that the pastor said, if we just admit that we were wrong, repent and change, then God can turn it around for us. So now I've had to do that myself. So I'm so thankful and grateful that God sends us the angels, you know, the Lord that give us the word and make it so simple. You know, this Bible study was about 35 minutes long and it only took, you know, a few minutes to write down these simple notes. That's a blessing. Just if you are on the path of destruction that you can admit that you're wrong, repent, and then change is just start doing it right. And that will be right and accepting to the Lord. It's just that simple. You can start that tonight. I have myself. Y'all appreciate y'all coming in tonight. Or whatever day that you may happen to be listening to this. So stay tuned for more Bible study and Sunday sermon notes. And other blessings of inspiration. And I hope you have a wonderful and blessed night.